Hey girl, hey, it's your favorite girl, Kiri, and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, welcome by the title you see what the video is about, so we're gonna hop right into it. Okay, girl, so starting a hair business in 2024. If I were starting a hair business in 2024, I wouldn't start just any hair business. I would start a different hair business. What I mean by that is we often think that we have to do like a virgin hair uh, business or a raw hair business, but there are so many other types of hair businesses that you could start. So that's the tea that I'm giving you today. Number one, it's a synthetic wig business. Now, the synthetic wigs, we laugh at those and things like that, but we used to back in the day, you know, cause it looked real wiggy, but lately them some synthetic wigs been coming through. So I would start a synthetic wig business. That's a whole different target audience within itself. Um, it used to be that like older women wear synthetic wigs cause they really just need to put something on and go, which is an entire uh, demographic rather, but that is a specific audience. Now you have, it's also another audience, another demographic rather, where younger women who really can't afford and like really on a budget who really can't afford to sorry who really can't afford to purchase or spend crazy money on hair extensions they may be interested in purchasing a synthetic wig like as long as it look natural and lately they've been looking real good so that's a uh, one hair business that i would start um obviously you have a virgin hair business because now everybody is on the raw hair train but like I said, raw hair is very expensive. It is also, obviously it's a higher quality. It is beautiful. So is virgin hair. You just have to find the right virgin hair. You have to find a good virgin hair vendor. And then, you know, you could talk business, but finding, um, I'm sorry, the difference between raw and virgin hair is just the quality. Obviously raw hair is a higher quality. Virgin hair, you get more of a catalog of different textures versus with raw hair raw hair only comes in three specific textures so i would start a virgin hair company uh, that's another hair business that you could start or a raw hair company like i have for example i transitioned over to the raw hair side because um i love raw hair i have worked with both uh, like i told you guys in the last video this is virgin hair so you just have to find a good virgin hair vendor i have given out tons of virgin hair vendors as well as raw hair vendors so that is two vendors as well and if you want me to find a synthetic wig um vendor let me know and i may find one of those uh, i may try to see what i can do comment down below and let me know next you can just start a natural hair business so what i mean by that is cater specifically to women with natural hair people who have like my hair is natural my hair is a 4b 4c so finding textures that cater specifically to those type of women or natural hair business that is a slept on market like that is clutch like these these different these different categories you can you can definitely have your profitable business you just have to find your audience but there are plenty of people especially now with natural hair so a natural hair business well maybe like the kinky coily i'll show you a, a, a few textures on the type of business that you can start because you're specifically catering to a that is such a targeted niche company like you already know you're only talking to people with natural hair versus a raw hair business or a virgin hair business you kind of have to find it's like you have to break it down to the t on specifically a certain problem versus natural hair you're you can just cater to people with natural hair like uh all you sell is natural hair so that that's something uh different also just a glueless wig business now we know that that's very popular again but uh at the same time if you don't want to get into the tracks and everything like that and you just want to sell glueless wigs and it doesn't even have to be you can find a vendor that has um customized units already like this i wanted to find a my mommy bob the first one the portion unit this one is uh, 100 percent customized already so this is a glueless wig so you put it on and go so you can literally just start a glueless wig business like i'm, I'm really giving y'all the tea today last the last business I thought about uh, that one could start a hair business in 2024 would be a ponytail business, just strictly ponytails. Like, it's so many ways. I think that we have, you have to think outside of the box. Like, imagine just having a ponytail business. Like, all you sell is ponytails. The summertime, like, people wear ponytails year round. So you'll always be able to make money. Like, you have to really think about these businesses. Like, think about, Think about it from a larger scope. Like, 
you can really do something with these businesses that I just gave you. Number one was a synthetic wig business. Number two, a virgin hair business. Number three, a raw hair business. Number four, a, glue, a natural hair business. Number five, a glueless wig business. And number six, a ponytail hair business. So I just wanted to see, let me know if you guys are interested in, um, again, me finding you trying to find you vendors because most vendors most chinese vendors they sell ponytails so you would just need to uh just strictly buy ponytails from them see how they work out um, but most vendors they sell ponytails uh, they sell the natural hair textures you just have to order you're just ordering that texture those textures specifically and marketing to that uh, particular market that's literally all you're doing so let me know um if you would like me to help you find some vendors comment down below and let me know but i thought i'm trying to do something different um, with my channel instead of making it just about all vendors and um you know things like that i want to do subcategories such as like like this one hair businesses that i would start starting a hair business you know things like that so we're gonna see how this works uh it's either gonna work or it isn't but you guys comment down below and let me know what you think let me know if you want me to help you find some vendors and that's gonna be it for today's video until next time i'm out bye